What's up guys? How's it going? Hope you're doing well. I um, got a few comments on the last video about Bitcoin and um, where I invested my money and stuff like that. I didn't say anything about where I put it. But, um, you know, one thing I like to talk about all the time is um, survival and stuff like that and health and things. So I'm happy to talk about um, it's supposed to be winter, right? Boiling here. It's like middle of summer. Um, so I always talk about health because without health you have nothing. And I talk about how to stay healthy by eating foods, good foods, and lots of um, fruits and veggies, you know, veggies and fruit smoothies, things like that. So I'm always talking about how to stay healthy. And, um, the one thing I I don't want to really like talking about you know, I never talk about politics as I don't talk about it myself but um, what I'm trying to say is you know find, investing your money everybody has an opinion right like a rear end everybody has a, a bum hole so everybody's entitled to their opinion for me I have invested in Bitcoin and many people say it's, it's unstable. Well, so is the fiat currency, the money in your pocket. It's not based on gold, it's not based on anything. It's based on your government, your trust in your government. So if you trust your government and you trust the money that, that you know, their, their banking system, the fiat currency, then use it if that's what you want to do. Um, you know, I watch, I said to you before a long time ago about, um, you know, there's going to, there's food shortages and people, oh, there's no food shortages. Well, I didn't pick that, I didn't pick it just out of the top of my head. I researched and found that there's an engineered, on purpose, food shortages. Because it, there's an end game. I'm not going to talk about the end game, but I did, did want to just mention Bitcoin. Um, it, I didn't know anything about it six months ago. Luckily, I, I met a guy as a subscriber contacted me privately and said you need help to learn it and I needed help bad and um, become a good friend and uh, he helped me a lot and uh, I understand it better now and basically what they say now is you know is it's like untangling string there's so much information I couldn't figure out you know the, the direct line so I got I understand it now and I put some pennies in it and I'm happy and uh, if you want to get into it, then you know that's up to you. Everything's a risk, but right now, um, you know, when the corporates get involved in it, it's just going to push the price up even more. So I heard a guy this morning saying, a big, a banker who's been, he's got into it about six years ago, and he's been in banking for 40 years, and he said uh, he believes it's like if you look at it like a baseball game, you you, you go into a, a you know major league baseball game. You're at the parking lot. That's where Bitcoin is now. You're in the parking lot. Yeah, the game hasn't even started. When it gets moving, moving, you know, and you, so there's still time to get in. You know, and Bitcoin right now this morning was about $18,000 a coin, but you know, you don't have to buy a whole coin. You can buy, you know, the, the change. So if you like uh, dollars and cents, pounds and pence, Bitcoin and Satang. So if you can buy a Satang, you know, really cheap I mean you can put in 10 pounds 20 pounds you can buy whatever you want because you can buy portions of it so that's I just wanted to clear that up but what I'm here for is the knife shop and um, I want to show you what I I uh, bought today this is the knife shop they make all the knives here at the back and in the villages and things like that around but they sell it I always wanted to, you know, I said to him, why don't you get a website, but they don't. But here's what I bought. So this is a normal hedge cutter, you know, hedge clippers you can buy, right? This is a normal one. These aren't made here. But the metal bar only goes to here. And every time I use them, I crack them. I bought plastic ones that are, say, guaranteed not to break. I break them. I got wooden ones, I break them. But here, they make this one at the actual shop and if you see the metal goes right through the handle so I'm not going to be breaking that in a hurry it's like uh, how much is it 400 baht something like that 
which is about um, 10 pounds about 12 15 dollars something so it's really nice so I got I got two pairs I knew about this clippers for the longest time but I thought I'll see if I can fix my other ones first they won't I fix them they break I fix them they break because there's no support in them there's not enough metal inside them but I knew that they made these ones here with that the metal goes all the way through so I won't be breaking that in a hurry and um, I can take them home and uh, they'll last me a long time and easy to sharpen they even said here if you ever need them sharpened bring them back and they'll get them sharpened for me so I'm really pleased about that here's some of the real fancy stuff and then some uh, all kinds of different knives all kinds they make in here you name it they make it and then there's some real high-end stuff in here for, like for temples and whatever these are all for working in the garden axes you can tell here they use uh, leaf springs from old cars so they're using the high tensile steel you got stuff for knife block you can buy for your kitchen all kinds of good stuff ha huh, better home again shirt off in the shade actually on the way back it's um it's only about 45 minutes drive lots of traffic there's been roadworks in that village since i've lived in this area they never seem to get it finished dirty dusty but it rained it poured with rain while we're a little bit farther away coming back the road was wet but here dry <laughs> maybe it'll rain tonight because it's been humid i said to jen it's like the clouds are constipated they have a lot of water but they won't let it out he's like really <laughs> I'm going to show you something. So this is the handle. These clippers are really nice. The metal part, lek, the metal, as they say in Thai. But it's got plastic handles. And if you push that off, you can see the metal. The metal ends there. So you've got metal. They're too damn cheap to make it longer and put plastic on it. So what happens? The plastic cracks and breaks. Well, I've got a pair of normal wooden ones, but I broke them too. I guess I'm just a little bit too forceful with it. I don't know. But the new ones have got metal running all the way through to the end of the handle. So guess what? You won't break them in a hurry. And the metal part, the blade actually cutting part, is the same length. So he's got the new ones now. And uh, have a look. So I don't right, really like this trimmer, but it does take some getting used to first couple of times I did it, it was a bit awkward but afterwards anyway he says I prefer to use the clippers so he's down there with the new clippers now and off he goes he's happy he says oh very sharp so he said it's okay I'll use the ones that are broken it's not a problem I said use them the actual blade is a little bit thinner, but the same length. And he says, oh, very sharp, very sharp. And the guy in the shop says, if it needs sharpening, bring it back and I'll sharpen it for you. So thank you very much. And I, I, I said to the, where's the other lady that lives there, uh, works here? He says, whew, well, I made a video a long time ago about visiting there. So I found it and showed her the picture. Oh, she just left. The, but her, her baby must be pretty big by now. The, the other guy has some young children and they were fussing not fighting with each other so I made a paper plane and they stopped fighting it was funny that's my neighbors I call him the tractor man and one of his tack tacks broke so they're over there in the field trying to fix it to get it going again but the sunsets are nice when the water's like this when the fields turn into water you get a really nice reflection Okay guys, that's it for the day. Next week I'll be back on schedule. I hope Monday, Wednesday, Friday instead of all higgledy piggledy like this week. But I did it. So got the three in even though I'm late. I hope you're all doing well. Look after yourselves. See you uh, Monday. Have a great weekend. Buckets of blessings. Rivers of peace, joy and kindness. All the very best.